welcome back we're going to be talking right now about puzzle rings how to farm them how to get unlimited puzzle rings for the season and some strategies on how to get them as fast as possible so we're at the main screen here uh puzzle rings have always been a very important part of grinding in diablo not only for resources but for gems for augments for just getting tons and tons of gold uh, and it's just really fun to just slaughter a whole um, vault worth of goblins. So there's a few strategies that we have for maximizing your chances of getting puzzle rigs. So <clears throat> first and foremost, and this is by far the best way to do it, is you need to have a witch doctor. You're going to create a witch doctor and you're going to put the witch doctor to level 31. Okay, you got to get the witch doctor to level 31. There's a very particular reason why we do this because it's going to give us the best possible chances for getting puzzle rings when you're gambling with Kadala. Okay, so if we can pull up our trusty Kadala gambling calculator, courtesy of the guys over at max roll so shout out to you guys let's pull this up for you so when you go to witch doctor okay let's go down to level 30 so level 30 if you go down to rings you have leoric signet it's the only legendary ring you can get at level 30. so once you hit level 31 now the only two rings that you can get or excuse me three is puzzle ring leoric signet and broken promises so when you gamble at kadala you have a one in three chance when it's legendary to be a puzzle ring okay now in in the past like last season this strategy was not particularly good because you would only have a level 31 ring and you wouldn't be able to use the angelic crucibles to make it a ancient ring but in this season we don't have that power we don't have that ability so the puzzle ring whether it's level 70 or 31 doesn't matter the vault it's a normal vault it's not any different so the only negative to the strategy is that we lessen our chance to get an ancient puzzle ring but as far as getting them and just running through them to get resources and stuff you need by far the best strategy level 31 witch doctor level up don't go any higher hit level 31 and then every time you max out on your uh blood shards you're going to come over in game switch to your witch doctor and then you're just going to go in and roll okay we're going to go back in with our demon hunter so if you do not want to do the witch doctor strat of this video then you can use your normal character and just get some puzzle rings so with this strategy you have the chance to roll and get have the chance to get a, a puzzle ring but at level 70 you're going to have all of the rings as options so it lessens your chance but what you can do is any yellow ones you can come over to the cube and upgrade rare item and do this now typically on a maximum blood shark count even if you're at like 1600 and you do a full run through of rings and then you upgrade all the yellow ones in my findings you've gotten you get about one to three puzzle rings per time of doing that now the big negative to this is it costs a lot of resources many many resources but in season 28 you're going to be able to grind and get resources like never before you have double bounties double death breaths so all of your resources are doubled this season all of them if you're doing bounties and you're like just doing bounties or even just normal rifts, your all of your stuff is going to be doubled. It's going to be insane. So doing this part of the strategy is actually not that bad and you can do it. It just costs a lot of it takes a lot of time and it's a lot of um, rolling and, and chances to get this. But we do have better chances to get level 70 ancient puzzle rings, which is very good. Ancient puzzle rings is what we want. So let's try it real quick. We only just rolled two. Let's see if we can get us an ancient puzzle ring. Ooh, close. That would have been crazy for the video. Okay, so we didn't, but that's okay. 
So those are the two strats, guys, to getting unlimited puzzle rings in Season 28 to grind and get whatever resources that you need. Particularly, I like puzzle rings for gems. So that is the best way to do it. So that's it, guys. That's how to get um, unlimited um, puzzle rings for the season. Definitely grind it out. Get them if you need them. Get some gems and uh, just grind out all of your gear, which is just awesome. It's perfect for re-rolling re, uh, re stuff too. So make sure to like the video, guys, if you've enjoyed it. Comment down below uh, if you guys do enjoy this strat. And as always, stay game, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.